Hi everyone, welcome back to Skyna Arts. If you are new here, I am Gagana and I create unique artworks on dry leaf skeletons. Today we are continuing with part 2 of painting Ashwarya Rai's iconic look from PS1. If you missed part 1, make sure to check it out to see how we started this beautiful portrait. In part 1, we began by outlining her mesmerizing eyes and adding depth with darker shades. We then blended these with lighter shades to bring out her expression. We also started adding a bit of her intricate jewellery. Today, we'll be focusing on completing her jewellery and starting on her clothes. So let's dive right in. First, we'll finish her jewellery. For this, we need to add a background. I'll start by lightly colouring the areas where the jewellery will be. Remember, don't apply too much pressure with the brushes. Use fine brushes for the details. I personally use a 4-0 brush for precision. If you'd like me to make a video specifically on the brushes I use, let me know in the comments below. I'm starting with the malas around her neck. Notice how I slowly build up the color and add small details. It's important to take your time with these tiny elements to really capture the intricacy of her look. In PS1, Aishwarya's character Nandini is known for her regal and elegant appearance. Her jewellery is a blend of traditional beauty and royal splendor, reflecting her character's status and grace. I absolutely loved it. Next, I'll move on to her head jewellery. This part is crucial for capturing her royal appearance from PS1. Again, gentle strokes with fine brush will help in getting the details just right. Now, we'll move towards painting her clothes. I'll start with adding the background color first. This will set the base for adding more details later on. Be patient and build the layers gradually for a more realistic look. After the background is done, we'll add the finer details to her attire, ensuring we capture the rich textures and patterns that make her look so stunning. And there we have it. The jewellery and cloths are coming together beautifully. Now let's add finishing touches by painting the nose piercing and bindi. With these final details, we are completing this masterpiece. Remember to use light pressure and fine brushes for the best results. I hope you enjoyed this part of our painting journey. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more unique art content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and don't forget to watch part 1 if you haven't already. We have finally completed this beautiful artwork of Ashwarya Rai's PS1 look. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative, stay inspired.